हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डाउट फोरम दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ ब्लॉक रेस्ट ऑन अ रफ इंक्लाइन प्लेन मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ब्लॉक एंड द प्लेन इज जीरो पॉइंट एट इफ द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स ऑन द ब्लॉक इज टेन न्यूटन द मैस ऑफ द ब्लॉक इन किलोग्राम इज एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी वी कैन टेक इट एज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर This question is based on the two concept. The first concept is the resolution of a vector. The other concept is of the frictional force. So let's understand the resolution of vector quickly. The resolution of a vector is the splitting a vector into its two or more components. And how we can do it? Suppose there is a vector and this vector is making certain angle with the horizontal surface so if this is the horizontal surface and this vector is making an angle of theta from the horizontal surface so what we can do we can split this vector into two components so this vector can be split into two parts the first one would be in the horizontal direction and the other one would be the vertical component which will be acting in the vertical direction if the magnitude of this vector is r so we can find out the magnitude of its horizontal and vertical component the magnitude of its horizontal component would be r cos theta and the value of its vertical component which is acting upward will be r sin theta so this is how we can split a vector into its horizontal component and vertical component this way it will become easy for us to analyze this vector the second concept used here is of the frictional force the frictional force is a contact force as we all know and it will always oppose the motion the detailed explanation about the frictional force for that we have made another video and the link to that video has been provided in the description so if you want to learn more about the friction you can follow that link here i am just quickly revising that there are three types of frictional force the first one is the static friction the second is the sliding friction the third one is the rolling friction the formula of frictional force f is given as mu into n here n is the normal mu is the coefficient of friction if we talk about the static friction this mu would be coefficient of static friction if we talk about the sliding friction the mu would be called as the coefficient of sliding friction and if we talk about the rolling friction this mu would be called as the coefficient of rolling friction the value of static friction is not constant it will keep adjusting itself up to a certain limit so this is some basics about the frictional force for detail you can follow the link given in the description so now let's move back to the question in the question it is said that there is a plane which is making an angle of 30 degree so suppose this is a plane and this plane is making an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal so this angle is given as 30 degree on this plane there is a block of mass m we are assuming that the mass of this block is m is lying so on this block there will be several forces which will be acting on this so we have to mark those forces on this block the one force which will be acting on this block would be its weight which will be acting in the downward direction and the value of this force would be m into g because there is a contact between the surface and the block so this surface would be creating a normal force on this block so this is the normal which will be acting on this block this would be capital n we can resolve this mg into its two component one would be in the forward direction and the second one would be making an angle of 90 degree from the forward component so let's draw that so suppose this would be the forward component of mg and perpendicular to this there will be a force which will be acting downwards like this the value of this component of mg would be mg sin theta 
and in this case the theta is 30 degree because this angle is 30 so this angle would also be 30 degree so the this component would be mg sin 30 and this green component of weight would be mg cos 30 as we can see that this block is not making any movement in this direction so this normal force would be balanced by its mg cos 30 so this n or the normal force would be equal to mg cos 30 only this mg sin 30 is acting in the forward direction so due to this mg cos 30 this block will try to move in this direction but as in the question given that this block is not moving although it is at rest and there is a frictional force of 10 newton and as we all know that the frictional force always opposes the motion so this is the force which is creating a motion on this object so there would be a force which, which will be acting opposite to this mg sin 30 and this would be in the backward direction and the value of this force is given as 10 newton as this body is, is still at rest so this 10 newton would be equal to mg sin 30 that's why this object is not moving because the net force in this direction is zero so what we can see from the diagram that mg sin 30 would be equal to this frictional force of 10 newton so this would be equal to 10 so if, if we solve this equation so m into g the value of g is 10 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 equal to this 10 so from here this 10 and 10 gets cancelled the value of mass m would be equal to 1 into 2 oh yeah, 2 kg so this would be our answer so let me quickly revise this question there is a block lying on a plane which is making an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal as we can see that the mass of this block we have considered it to be m so there will be mg which will be acting downward due to its weight and because there is a contact between the object and the surface so this surface will be creating a normal force which will be perpendicular to the contact so this would be its normal component this weight mg we can break it into two components the first would be in this direction which will be mg sin 30 because this angle is 30 and this component would be mg cos 30 because this object is not making any movement in this direction upward or downward so this end would be balanced by mg cos 30 and this would be the only force which will create a motion on this object in this direction but in the question it is given that the block is at rest and a static friction is acting on this block and the value of that friction is 10 newton from the basic definition of friction that the friction is a contact force and not only that it will always oppose the motion so this 10 newton would be acting against this mg sin 30 which will make this object move in this direction so here what we can see that this mg sin 30 would be equal to 10 and from here the value of m is 2 kg so thank you for watching if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye